Greetings everyone, and Grade here of another Age of Fires 3 replay. Spawn on the left side as the blue Ottomans. We have Bandit. Spawn on the right side as the Dutch, uh, Red Dutch. We have Adawana, I think. When it comes for natives on this map, we do have the Berbers, which has have access to the Berber Cam Riders, the Berber Nomad, a villager variant. Berber Nomads, I think they are a, yeah, they're a Sawar variant. And we call the Salty Camel. Salty Camel, enraged by carrying the heavy bags of salt through the desert, constructs a salt mine. So you can place down a 10,000 coin deposit wherever you need to. You don't need to get plantations when you have that as a native. And there's only the Berbers on this map. The Ottomans do have selected deck here. Very nice. We've got some villagers. Capitalism. More villagers. Wood coin. Azaps. Janissaries, Delis, Alice Intrigue, Theaters, Upgrades your Taverns and Theaters, which have Ronin and other outlaw units cost less population, Wood Coin, Sapahis, Cavalry Archers, Unska. Ranged Cavalry does increase damage to settlers, and Cavalry Archers are trained faster. We don't really see this card out often, so you may be eyeing for Cavalry Archers. Obus Guns, Falconets, Moss Construction, all unique Moss improvements cost 50% less. So you may be eyeing for something involving a bunch of villagers. And blue is trying to bop that red explorer. Also, higher Egyptian Mamluks give you four Mamluks. They have like a thousand health. Sapahis, cavalry archers, Abbas guns, two great bombards. Factory, factory. Not that button. This button. The Dutch has access to merchants, a town militia, wood, wood coin, infantry attack, and team infantry hit points, three hussars, bank wagon, advanced arsenal, religious freedom, Irish brigadiers, wars of wood, coin, skirmishers, skirmishers, infantry combat, hussars, routiers, cavalry combat, Irish Swiss pikemen, 12 of them, Irish Bosnacks, 6 of them, heavy cannon, factory, factory. Yeah. Of course, you can't retreat your explorer to your town center. And he will escape on out of there. And now do have the quartermaster for the Dutch. For the Ottomans, we have also the quartermaster. The master of quarters. In which both players will not provide any. Evet. <laughs> Shipment available. He could. He's going to go for H2 villagers. I'm guessing. No. Yeah. Don't see. Yeah. Maybe for the either villagers or delis. I'm guessing. And also the Dutch has less experience at the moment, so maybe he. Yep. This is why. Trade post. And here is another trade post. There. He may eye for a faster stage coach with getting both of them on one side, though this one will be difficult to secure. Trade post is now complete. Clar. Commando. Yeah. Red's explorer has not regenerated enough health. Doesn't appear to be returning getting any health at the moment. So one more shot and the red explorers will go down. The Dutch now has another shipment available. He could go for some hazards. He's designed for some wood. Maybe a bit eye for a bit of turtle ploy. And the Ottomans actually eyeing for capitalism. Now ship is available, still hunting traps. How's it? Honey Badger does go down. experience. He could really use all the experience he gets since he's really eyeing for it. He's going for another round of villagers. 
Red right now is designed for more merchants. Just a bit quiet. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. We've got a barracks and market going on up, as well as another bank. And now it's bringing another shipment of wood. Some local kitty cats being gunned down. Does receive a bit of fire there, and now we do have a handful of pikemen. Pikemen do have a good siege attack of 32. The blue explorers taking some pop shots against these build against these pikemen. Damage shot looks not too great at 15. But he's gonna take time to pick down this explorer here. He has about the same amount of health as a pikeman at the moment, so this could give him of course plus 45 experience. Our experience killing this will give him 80. Does four set down additional banks on the field? Five banks on the field, five out of five. And now, do have the scout going for a fast fortress age? His opponent going pretty close for our fortress age himself. Way forward, trying to torch down what structures they can get. Yeah. You now the Oxal Prince now being deployed on out. And a scout? I forget what the scout provides. Ah, he gets a handful of delis. Four delis is good for a raiding force. And the envoy will spot that. Now he's going to some obvious guns. He doesn't have enough coverage to get out his fifth one. There's a bit of wood available. He could try it for a second town center now. Evet. And now do you have another ship available for the Ottomans? He is... Not for his eyeing. Dutch is going for more wood and some halberdiers. That's it. Now a shipment of coin. Red is now receiving some fire there. One villager does not go down. Halberdier is getting gunned down by the Alvis guns. Alvis guns are going to be great in this situation. Of course, they do less, I'm pretty sure they do less damage versus villagers. Yeah, 30% damage versus villagers. Halberdiers and Pikemen are on the field. Halberdier is, of course, much more expensive and slower. This force is just simply not adequate versus Obus guns. Now the Ottoman player is going for his Grand Vizier. Which, doesn't that give, like, heavy cannon? Pikemen and Halberdier is trying to push way forward. Halberdier move... At 4.25, all pikemen move at 5. I really hate that camera bug when it sort of zips around rather than keep my settings. Obvious gun does go down there. A Dutch is eyeing for his own industrial age as well. Local doggos going down. Got a good number of Alvis guns. Just got mass melee. He's going for a ship of Routiers. He sees all the 
Arbus guns and the... Though they will, the Routiers will be used versus the Delhi, but the Arbus guns are not, go not going to be used for versus the Arbus guns. Now let's get some skirmishers out, which will be useful at uh, somewhat useful versus obvious guns, those of the equal. But the skirmishers range resist will not apply to the obvious guns, which does siege damage. You can see by the explosion symbol. But the obvious guns do still have 20 range resist in that matchup. More score skirmishers, more Routier being pulled in the field. I don't think Routier would be great in this situation. Oh, that's probably be a bit better. Now we've got some sub guard Sapahi now pulled in the field. This is some really heavy cab. I got Shivan Obus guns here, has two more shims available. He could go for us both his factories. He is going for second town center now. Red has a decent force here. But I'm also not too thrilled off by it, other than based on the cold uh, numbers. Got a force of 25 here versus force of 43. Iron Balls next being pulled on out for the Dutch. While well, we do have some cavalry archers here, which will be very useful versus these. Uh, oh, no, that's light cav, not heavy cav. York will be going down there. Does get spotted. He can sort the 45 villagers at the moment. And now he has two towns on the queues here. Dutch are at 31 villagers. The Ottomans at 32. Soon to be 31. Now he's at 31. That could be very good right now is actually the Great Bombards. His force is a little bit vulnerable to the Great Bombards. Sure, Routiers can try to engage them, but they will receive a lot of retaliation for that. His force on push and four. The spot he's here on three. So probably a pause happened there. Routiers push way forward. It's a pot he as well. Pause next are ace. Lancer variant, they have really good base damage. Small multipliers with light cav, not just this heavy cav of the Albus Gunners. And it looks like a uh, blue just getting overwhelmed. He should not have pushed forward, he simply does not have enough forces. We got the moss construction there and his various moss improvements now. Yeah, that was a one size stomp. He simply had not enough numbers, and he was on an aggressive, uh, poor position. Now he has a massive army in front of him of 64. Halberdiers do have good siege attack, like uh, Spearman. Now this comes to a counter to the root here, but they're in old numbers. More office guns now being pulled on the field. He simply just didn't spend his resources. Whatever church improvement he, he can pull out on the field, hopefully it's something that's going to be useful. At this point in time, I don't think it's anything I can think of that would be useful. Going for a new order and a uh, Torqua Corpse, which should give him a handful of great bombards. If he gets one more shipment, he needs to go for the six of Pahi. Sounds like receiving quite a bit of damage here. Now I've got a big shipment of guard Nazim Fusiliers. That's one of the Opus cords. And there's his great bombards there. So he has a sizable army now here. And the great bombards, of course, can rip apart the infantry, no problem. These Fusiliers do have excellent damage. They are a musketeer variant. They also have siege resist rather than melee resist, which is probably better than most situations against other European forces. It sounds like it does go down, it's not a massive loss. 
The autumn player is only down by one villager. The Dutch has not advanced the next age either. It looks like it's going to be... Uh, he has a large amount of resources, so it's relatively close to it. Another house being pulled on a field. Yeah. So that's a sizable force here. I'm sort of surprised they didn't really push forward to, say, the other structures. That's been a bit worried about the Great Bombards. Does have a Sapahi ship done. Uh, not Sapahi shipped on in there. Ray's trying to push forward. There's actually some exposed villagers here, which could go down. Great Bombards do a great amount of damage, especially to villagers. And to everything. That villager just received a 600 pound rock through their face. While he pushed away forward and Zim Fuzulia is making their advance. They're in defense mode. More Obus guns here. Got quite a bit of food and wood here. Focus more on coin. Sapahi do have okay for their value. Honestly, okay siege damage. Those layers actually do have good siege damage as well. Great bomb bars. They do have five face damage. So no additional close damage to structures. This five hundred is already a pretty good amount. Council is now seeing massive fire. Guard the scene who's clears in defense mode as well. One of the houses do go down. Council are seeing massive fire. And you got the cavalry now trying to advance along the flank. There's a handful of hussars in this mix as well. Ten hussars. Zabahi. Those players are in a good interception location there. One of the Great Bombards now receives some melee attacks. Great Bombards made some, they do get some annihilating the Halberdiers they advance forward. Halberdiers engage in the Halberdiers in melee. Great Bombards, all of them are still alive, all of them damage. So we'll try to push back forward. Great Bombard goes here around. Should get a massive shot on these infantry forces. And he managed to save the Great Bombard. His cavalry went to melee against the uh, Fusiliers. And the Great Bombards annihilated the rest of them. That's what happened. I've got some more Sapahi now being put field. He only has two remaining. Another wave of Hussars now being put on field. 17 of them. Guard Fusiliers not in the proper location. Now they're holding a line in front of them. The melee attack should be very effective. He does find this bone bombard there unprotected. That's another bombard is receiving some fire damage there. One great bombard has gone down. The other ones are seeing some fire. Hazars had trouble. Sabahi engages some of the Hazars. Scrimmage trying to fall back. We're seeing more shots of the great bombards there. And does stop all the Hazars from pushing way forward. Doing a great job keeping those great bombards alive. The Dutch still has 35 villagers. The Ottomans have 41. And still has a good number of banks still on the field as well. But those, of course, are going down. Sapahi now trying to overrun these skirmishers. Skirmishers going down. More Hazards being pulled on field. Explorer goes down. Sapahis will be good in this engagement. Three AOE is basically the same uh, explosion radius as a Falcon Net, so they're melee Falcon Nets. He's 
Miller's getting hit. Got a shipment of hal uh, halberdiers here to get or the Swiss pikemen. Swiss pikemen will make short work the Sapahi. And looks like uh, Red does back up the game, but he had one last good final stay with the Swiss pikemen. By the way, this is Anne Great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.